بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم I am Dr. Mahibullah Wazir and the topic is the subdivision of autonomic nervous system that is enteric nervous system and I told you that autonomic nervous system is then subdivided into sympathetic nervous system parasympathetic nervous system which we described and now the third is the enteric nervous system look ENS enteric nervous system this is the third subdivision of the autonomic nervous system as its name indicates it is being related with the enteric system that is with the system of gastrointestinal tract or digestive system anatomically the enteric nervous system is having two ganglionated plexuses present in the wall of the intestine and all GIT gastrointestinal tract ganglionated plexuses that is it it is having many ganglion ganglion connected to one another by plexus of nerves and in this way it is a web-like structure having ganglion and nerve processes being connected the ganglion with one another now these ganglionated plexuses are of two types number one the menteric or orbex nervous system and number two the submucosal submucosal or submucosal are also called as Meissner's nervous system. The menteric or orbex nervous system is present in the wall of the intestine between the circular and longitudinal muscle fibers between the circular and longitudinal muscle fibers of the intestine is being present a web-like plexus of nerves that is ganglion connected with one another by nerve fibers and this is being called as menteric or orbex plexus and the submucosal nervous plexus or mesonervous plexus is being present in the submucosa of the intestine the submucosa of the intestine and it is also again a plexus or web-like plexus being made up of ganglion and nerve fibers. Now this enteric nervous system which consists of my enteric nervous plexus and mesonervous nervous plexus functionally functionally it is being it is self-contained self-contained functioning system that is being stimulated by local reflex for example when a bullet of food reaches to any part of the intestine this bullet of food locally initiate the reflex activity that is the contraction of that part of the intestine through local reflex but note the point that both the menteric and the mesial nerve plexus also receive input from the sympathetic nervous system and parasympathetic nervous system. The input are fibers which are coming from the sympathetic nervous system to join the orbex or the mesial nervous plexus. They are postganglionic fibers coming from the sympathetic chain or from the ganglion present in the abdomen for example a silly ganglion while the parasympathetic fibers that joins this orbex and menteric nervous plexuses 
and business neural plexuses these are preganglionic because this comes either from the dorsal vagus nucleus or from the later horn of the S2 S3 and S4 and these fiber then come and reach to the intestinal wall where the ganglion is being present in the wall of the intestine and then it lay over there and then the portal line fibers reach to the to the portal line fibers then reach to the ENS or enteric nervous system to the RVF plexuses and to the Meissner plexuses so in this way the enteric nervous system is being self contained the, the, the nervous system and function being regulated by the local reflex but also getting input from the preganglionic sympathetic and postganglionic parasympathetic okay now functionally functionally look the mentaric plexuses the mentaric plexus or arbic plexuses when stimulate it stimulate this surrounded the circular muscles and the longitudinal muscle fibers of the intestine and what happens that look if the bolus of food is lying over here this mentaric this this this, this arbex this arbex plexuses are mentaric plexuses it stimulate the circular muscle fiber proximal to the bolus so that it squeezes that part the proximal part of the intestine while it inhibits the distal part of the muscle fibers in this way the distal part is mild dilated or inhibited and the proximal part is being constricted so that the bolus of food is being pushed forward in this way we say that the mentaric nervous plexus it produces the peristaltic movements of the intestine to push the bolus of food in the forward direction while the mesenteric nervous plexus or submucosal nervous plexus it is being related with the regulation of the fluid fluids fluids and electrolytes from the wall of the intestine that how much the fluid should be absorbed and how much should go outside to in the stool in the same with the electrolytes the absorption of the fluid and electrolytes is being regulated by mesenteric nervous plexus while the peristaltic movements is being stimulated by the mentaric nervous plexus and this is all about the enteric nervous system which is also the part of the autonomic nervous system okay in this way i have uh, discussed in detail the anatomy of the parasympathetic sympathetic and enteric nervous system and the first lecture introduction of the autonomic nervous system that's what all about the autonomic nervous system thank you very much